Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. So today we're going to make them have the police arrest me to get me out of this building. As you see, he's a public servant refusing to identify, which I'm sure is in your policy. Hello, Blackheart Knight here. And today we encounter a fraudster who audits a library with a sword. Why is he carrying a sword? Why he's exercising his Second Amendment rights. Or so he says. But he's really just there to cause trouble and be a pain in the ass to anybody who comes in there, especially the cops. Let's sit down and grab some popcorn and enjoy the show, folks. Okay, so what's your name and position here? My name is Andrew and I'm the deputy director. I'm okay. Go talk to the police. Okay. All right. Uh, he's filming me in the, um, what is this room called? It'd room be a foyer. Foyer. Lobby. Foyer, lobby, corridor, hallway. The foyer is over here. What's that? Yeah. Yes. Um, I believe so. We've got the deputy director here. Because <laughs> yes, I don't have to legally. Well, we actually we don't really want you to leave. We would just like the katana to not be here. Then you're stomping on my Second Amendment constitutional rights. I'm sorry to hear that. W e a b e o. Pardon me, Jack Wagon. But you don't know what goes through the mind of a fraudster when they walk into a library with the katana. Who knows what they're capable of? He's just looking after the safety of his patrons. That's all. It'd be much better for my attorney if you just admit that you're willing to step on my constitutional right. Especially my Second Amendment constitutional right. You just admitted that you don't want me to cuss here, which is against my First Amendment constitutional right. I just asked you to not swear. I didn't say anything until dumb shit here said something to me first. So he's actually disturbing my peace. Um, so I'm going I'm to tell you. Um, okay, now you can go f yourself, because now you're asking, now you're trying to stomp on my constitutional rights. And I don't put up with people that do that. Pardon me, jackal. This is a library where people come to research knowledge, and you, sir, are disturbing their peace. So why don't you make like a tree and leave? Because once the police arrive, they'll fit you with the shiny new bracelets, and they'll take it down to meet your new bow, Bubba. Constitution is the supreme law of this land. Yeah, let's go listen. Uh, your name and position here. Okay. Your name and position here. As you see, he's a public servant refusing to identify, which I'm sure is in your policy. Few moments later. So today we're going to make them have the police arrest me to get me out of this building. <laughs> As I've committed no crime, I've broken no law. And they're also writing up some ban letter for me. So since our last encounter, did you have a chance to check out the Tom Bain Act? Excuse me, more specifically, the Tom Bain Civil Rights Act. I'm not, I'm not uh, it was made into law in April of 1988, but it was made to law in California in 1987. Makes it a crime for anybody to attempt, interfere, or halt 
somebody in the constitutional right. Which is exactly what you and Kevin, who did not identify, are doing right now. Trying to stop my First Amendment, even though Kevin was the first one to initiate contact. And you're trying to initiate the Second Amendment violation of my constitutional rights. Well, let's go listen in, guys. Name and badge number? Sergeant Roberts. Name and badge number? Officer Sanson, 89. Name and badge number? Officer Gilder, 854. Your turn. Mr. Sutherland, sounds like they don't want you at the library? Yes. Well, they don't have a choice. I haven't done anything wrong. I've committed no crime. I broke no law. Name and badge number? You know me. We've met before. Name and badge number? not your puppet, my friend. Yeah, you're my puppet. You work for me. Absolutely not. Have I committed a crime? Oh, I like this officer. He's not taking any of his crap. And the dude, this guy is not your puppet. He is there to arrest you if you do not get out of that library with that katana ASAP. You're, you're trespassing. Oh, uh, wrong. No, we went through this last time. 164255 of the Arizona we or we Oregon revised statute. You're going to shut up and listen. We went, we went through this You're going to shut up and listen. You work for it's me. It's not going to work that way. Oregon revised statute 164255 says a person is guilty of committing criminal trespass if they enter or remain unlawfully. Correct. In a dwelling. Correct. What crime have I committed? You violated the, the code here of their is code Is there a code of conduct law? Yes, we went through this what last What law time. is it? We went through this last What's time. What's the penal code? Sir. What's the penal code? Shut up and tell me the penal code. Okay. Do you need to be under arrest now? Is that where we're at? What would I be arrested for? Trespassing. Oh, please do. Here you go. Absolutely. Please do. I do not consent to any search or seizures of my person, property, papers, and effects. There you go. I'm not resisting. No, no, you're not. This is a huge loss of you have no idea what you just did. Is this Steve Hurlian? You just illegally took my sword off of me. No, we didn't. Okay, all right, we're, Come on, we're getting up, up, right? Up on your knees. Up on your knees. I have no obligation to assist you in kicking We can out carry you. Oh my goodness, look at the size of that sword. Why would you bring that thing into a local library like that? Are you out of your damn mind? You would have to be. We'd rather not. You're going to have to. I committed like that, no huh? crime. I broke no law. I'm under no legal obligation to assist you in kidnapping me. Okay. Let's lift you up just for a second. got to check your waist. Yeah, do that. We'll bring a patrol car right over here. I'm requesting a supervisor on scene. We are supervisors. Your supervisor, right. stupid. I'm going to read you your rights, sir. You have the right to remain. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to kiss my ass. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present while you're being questioned. If you can't afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you at no expense. I have one. You guys are going to find out the hard way. Do you understand your rights? Do you understand you just violated multiple civil rights violations, and with you carrying me out of here with me committing no crime, you're committing a felony. It's called felony kidnapping. So, we had a great conversation last time about Frisbee Golf. Remember that? Yeah, we did. Too bad you guys just ended your careers. Do you think I'm fucking kidding? Tom Bain Civil Rights Act, violation of Article 18 U.S.C. and 13-241-242. You now just opened all yourselves up to civil litigation under Article 42 U.S.C. 1983. Like I said, we talked about it with the city attorney last time. They yeah, said that the city we were attorney's a fucking moron. We just go with what the lawyers tell us, my friend. No, yeah, I'm sorry, but so did the Nazis, and they lost, and now you guys just lost. And I'm requesting your supervisor on scene, or Chief Hurley, because I'm going to go talk to one of them right after this. You're welcome to do that, but the, the chief is not coming out here, nor is my supervisor. All right, well, refusal of services, thanks.
Even after I gave you the trespass code, somebody has to remain unlawful. Hey, Mr. Sutherland, when the patrol car gets here, we're going to walk over to it. And I have you on camera that I have committed no crime or broken We need you to help us out, stand up, and I'm you not walk under your own you power, out. okay? We don't I'm not to helping you, you do shit. You're going to vi finish violating my rights and commit a felony yeah, by Mr. moving me from this position. I want you to understand what's going to happen. When the patrol car gets here, we're going to walk out to it, okay? Looks I'm like not. it's arrived. I'm not going to walk. So, I need you to stand up on your feet nope. with this so we can walk out to the patrol Nope. I'm completely relaxed. You guys want to commit uh, felony kidnapping? Go ahead. I'm not, under no obligation to assist you in doing so. And felony kidnapping is defined as taking somebody by force from one location to another against their will. You're under arrest. You're trespassing. under arrest, so that doesn't fly. Oh, so sorry. This is going to be your last opportunity to do it, or we're going to go ahead and carry you. Well, Would you like to walk like a gentleman? I guess you're going to have to carry me. He's going to hurt, but oh well, it's more damage for my turn. Okay, sounds fine. Well, the video ends there, folks. I'm sure they took him to a nice, comfy cell where he could spend some time getting to know his uh, new cellmate, Bubba. And that wraps it up for me in this video, folks. Until next time, have a good night, good day, or whatever. And I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to rate, share, comment, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it.